In this video, we are going to integrate S4 HANA data in SAP Data Sphere. We are going to enable business content provided in SAP Data Sphere, map it with the source which is S4 HANA, and we are also going to replicate the data from CDS views to SAP Data Sphere using replication flows. For the solution, we are going to integrate S4 HANA CDS views which are data enabled. We, we will need S4 HANA which is the ERP system with standard CDS view enabled for sales and distribution. Secondly, we are going to use SAP Data Sphere which will serve as the core platform for enterprise data management, transformation and analysis. We are also going to use SAP Analytics Cloud for visualization. Great, let's start the magic. The first part of this exercise is import data model. We are going to import business content for SAP Data Sphere. This offers ready to use pre configured business content which will accelerate the progress of your project. It is available as a part of application in semantic onboarding. When you check So this is where the semantic onboarding is and we are we can check out business content out here when we go to business content we will we will see all the different modules in this scenario we are going to check out the sales analysis for sap s4 hana and s4 hana cloud So let me search for sales. So this is my BI content. So this is my business content for sales and distribution. I will be importing it. Once we import, it will basically import in the space which is assigned. Great. So for easy purpose, uh, what I have done is I have exported the JSON file of the BI content and we are going to import it in the in our space directly. So for that we are going to import the CSN file. Let's go to Data Builder. Go to our space. And import objects from CSN file. And select here this is my JSON file which is my CSN file I will say select and then these are all the standard content that I will be importing and then I will say import CSN this will take a few minutes to import. You can also download the CSN file from my Git repository which is freely available. So this is my sales analysis which is a part of the BI content provided by SAP. All you need to do is just open this, download this basically and you will have to change 
the space. Once the import is successful, it will not automatically deploy the objects which are being imported. So what you need to do is basically import the analytical model that will deploy all the dependencies of that analytical model. So for that, we will go to analytical model. See, this is not deployed. Okay. And there are other views which are also not deployed. See, if you see, these all are not yet uh, deployed. So what I'll do is, I will go to analytical model, open this analytical model. So this is my analytical model. If you want to see the dependency, you can click here and check the impact and lineage analysis. You can also check the dependencies out here. So these are all the dependencies for the entire sales quotation model. Now what I'm going to do is I will just close this and then see the status is not deployed. I will just simply click on deploy and this will start deploying this analytical model and its dependencies. So the dependencies deployment is started. Great. The deployment is successful. Let us check. See, it is successfully deployed here. And now let's check the other objects have they been deployed so now if you see these are all in deployed state great the next part we are going to enable the currency conversion so to enable currency conversion we will go to add and then currency conversion views i have prepared a separate video on currency conversion you can check the video on the above link Great. Now that we have enabled the currency conversion as well, we will create a replication flow for the imported content. As the imported content, we also have local tables. Which are designed to be filled using replication flow. So let's take let's consider this so there is a customer uh, table let's check the data whether we have any data see we don't have any data here this is just a metadata which has been imported to do this we are going to create a replication flow which is designed specifically using the CDS views and if you see see I underscore customer underscore Delta this is the Delta Delta capture table and the base table is I underscore customer let's open and check whether it is delta enabled or not so this is my i underscore customer cds view i will check whether the delta is enabled or not so if you see delta extraction enabled true delta dot change data capture automatic true means this CDS view is enabled for Delta.
Now let's create the replication flow. To create a replication flow, we will have to go to data builder. We will go to flows, new replication flow. We will select my direct connection select my source so as a part of replication flow we are going to extract the transactional data and the master data i'm going to select the source and the target so now i will go to sd in sd I will select on sales analytics and in sales analytics let me search for C underscore C stands for consumption view sales document item this is my CDS view and then I will say next and then add this will fetch the details and create a metadata structure in data sphere great now the load type i will go to settings in the load type i will select initial plus delta i will select this and if you see here we have an option of delta load interval where we can define how many hours after how many hours we want to replicate the data so it says one means every hourly there will be a load so i will change it to i just want daily once so i will go with 24 now i will go and select the target target connection which is my data sphere so I will select data sphere and map with the existing target ob object which is C underscore C. This is my table in data sphere. I'm going to map it with my table in data sphere. So clearly this is left side is my source and right side is my target source is my CDS view and target is my remote table sorry local table based on the CDS view which we have imported using the connection basically the BI content now what I'm going to do is I will now then also add my customer data which is the customer I underscore customer sales uh, CDS view so for customer customer is in logistics so i'll go to hello so this is my hello basic data and then open the business partners i'll search for i underscore customer select the customer and then say next and then add selection this will again create a customer uh, data which is fetching the entities and create a temporary table and I'll go to settings enable initial and delta map my target map to existing target so I underscore customer so this is my local table now what I'll do is I will save
once it is saved we will deploy it great it is successfully deployed now let's run the replication flow which will basically load the data from the source to the target so i'm running the replication flow if you see run started here you can see run status status is running and then if you click on this open flows in monitor this will take me take you to basically data integration monitor where you can monitor the replication flow so we have the first table the replication is running i'll just quickly refresh and then the status will always be retrying if the status switches to retrying the initial load is finished and then again after 24 hours it will again re uh, rerun the replication flow now that we have successfully replicated the local tables now let's check the lineage let's go to data builder analytical model open the analytical model this is my impact and lineage analysis i will go to dependency we can check the dependencies out here let's check for customer just do a data preview great we can see the ma data master data out here and now let's check the preview on the analytical model i will go to the analytical model click on preview code let's Great. If you see, we have sold to party, and the company code. So the data has been populated. Great. 